I think we have to make sure we understand that, that uh, this movement is a, is a movement of peace, a movement of education, a movement of helpfulness, of support, no matter where, it, where it's taking place. here what it my name is Lawrence Arthur Foreman and I am a uh, former professor at Old Dominion University and I've been a, a rabbi for 52 years. And I have been very involved with the Hizmet movement uh, through my, some of my students at Old Dominion University. I had the uh, honor of being selected as the uh, first rabbi in captivity, as it were, who uh, was, was uh, asked to be the faculty advisor to the Turkish Muslim Rumi Forum Better Understanding Club of Old Dominion University. And uh, I was honored to be asked, and my students explained to me what the movement was, what it is, and uh, what a magnificent person Fethullah Gulen is, who really is the instrumental uh, architect of the movement. The Hizmet movement means, of course, service. And uh, it means service to people, uh, people who, uh, who are Muslim, who are Jewish, who are Christian, uh, who are Buddhist, whatever their religion. Um, the Hizmet movement does not discriminate uh, or uh, between, re between religious systems. But it works for the good of all and the hurt of none. And uh, I've been uh, honored and fortunate to be part of this movement for several years now. Mr. Gulen is a, uh, a wonderful man who has probably been the one instrumental person in allowing uh, other people who are not Islamic to see the, the wonderful sides of the religion. Um, as opposed to the media uh, portrayals of some of the jihadists, the Boku Harams, the Hezbollah, uh, all of those terrorist kinds of groups who, to my mind, are hiding behind the skirts of religion to promote their own gangster-like views. They have those people, those terrorist people, um, I've learned uh, from uh, Mr. Gulen and from the students I have, uh, those people have nothing to do with Islam. Their religion is not a religion. Their religion is hatred, uh, animosity, uh, discrimination, uh, and bigotry, and prejudice. And it's just, they're like gangsters, these people. But they say, oh, I am a true Islamist, which of course, is the, the, the biggest lie uh, that they could tell. So to my mind, Mr. Gulen, with his uh, ideas of education, uh, of uh, learning, of uh, meritocracy, of uh, openness, of dialogue, uh, and of um, appreciation of every human being for their own worth and dignity. Uh, he, uh, Mr. Gulen has helped take the the stigma off of the, uh, the women, uh, the feminist uh, groups that some of these radicals have um, attacked. And today we have the Boku Haram who's, who have captured, you know, almost 300 young girls in Nigeria. 
And it's people like Mr. Gulen and the Hizmet movement who are antithetical to that kind of uh, horrible behavior. So I am a 100% a supporter of Fethullah Gulen and, his, and the movement. Some of, some of his students whom I had at Old Dominion University uh, went on to become uh, physics uh, doctors, uh, doctors of nuclear science and so forth. And these are very, very bright uh, people who are very universalist. You know, they're not uh, so particularistic as to labels. And they, take, they accept people for who they are and who they aren't. Now, this fits right into the way I was raised. I was born in Seattle, Washington. I'm a first-generation American. And I was, I was raised in an interfaith uh, atmosphere where you accept people uh, and attribute uh, and hope they accept you. And you attribute all the good qualities to people. And, and till they, if they ever prove you, you're wrong. I think we have to make sure we understand that, that uh, this movement is a, is a movement of peace, a movement of education, a movement of helpfulness, of support, no matter where, it, where it's taken place. Uh, Mr. Gulen has established 140, 150 schools are all around the world. Uh, to me, uh, these are schools that, uh, at, that advance uh, science, mathematics, uh, you should excuse the expression, Western cultural values, um, not at the expense of anyone else, but certainly in, in their own right, uh, values that will make the civilization better for all people. Uh, you know, he, he's, um, labels are a very, un, very unusual thing. You know, everybody has labels of who they are and who they're not. And to my mind, the label um, of, um, of Muslim has been bandied around so much uh, by the media and, the, and, the, and through the Hamas and Hezbollah and the Boko Haram and so forth in such a negative way that you have to say, what is true Islam? And true Islam, to my mind, what I've learned uh, from Mr. Gulen and from his students is a true Islam is um, a way of peace for all people, not just for some people. Uh, it's not an exclusivistic uh, organization. This is a, it's an all-inclusive, all-encompassing kind of group. And I had the opportunity of uh, going to Turkey with uh, a group of uh, my Islamic students, my Turkish students, and uh, it, it, the warmth, the generosity, the, the openness, the uh, acceptance uh, was uh, magnificent to behold, truly. And uh, Ali Yurtsever, who, is, uh, who was our guide and who uh, I feel is my mentor and my big brother, uh, uh, he uh, showed us you know, what true Islam is like, and, and not the media Islam, and not what these terrorists call Islam. Uh, in fact, he t I remember he taught uh, me the word jihad does not mean uh, fighting other people and killing people and terrorism. It means an inner spiritual struggle to try to find a relationship with, with God uh, or Allah or whatever, uh, and, and to try to find a relationship with your best self and, and with the heart of others. This is a, a peaceful, wonderful, magnificent religion. I think it's really important for people of every religious faith and of no religious faith to speak to each other, to be open to each other, and not har because if you only harbor your stereotypical prejudices, uh, that's what you end up with. And you don't get to know anybody and, and what they really f feel or what they really believe. It's only when you open up to others and they open up to you in dialogue, in, um, in mutual understanding and, uh, and love and care that you can really have a, a terrific basis for friendship and for, for, even, for government.
Uh, I think there, you know, the struggles going on in, in Turkey today are, I'm sure, you know, they're very political and, and they're, um, but I, I think to, to accuse uh, Mr. Gulen or the Hizmet movement of stirring up trouble is, is, uh, is a, f a canard, a false, a false accusation. I think there, there are real issues when you have fundamentalist extremist groups of whatever ilk feel that they have to superimpose their will, their nature, and their interpretation of religion or government on everybody else. It's a lot easier to have an extreme point of view and to sell that point of view or not sell it, but to have a, to explain an extreme point of view. It's much more difficult uh, to, uh, to say, well, let's look at that. Let's discuss it. Let's uh, turn it over. Let's see what we have here, what, it, what we don't have here. That's much more difficult, no matter what religion you're in or who you are. So when Mr. Gulan and the Hizmet movement take a position of, um, of tolerance, of understanding, of acceptance, of uh, dialogue, it may not be too popular. But to me, it's the only way to, to resolve differences and, and to come to mutual understanding. What I liked about it is that it promotes interfaith, but not just interfaith, inter-ethnic cooperation, inter-religious cooperation, as well as inter-institutional within Rochester. I see the Hizmet movement as a peaceful social movement, um, really based on deep thinking and thoughtfulness. Thank you.